Honey, their home, a popular hive of Tyler honeybees now buzzing around their new and permanent home. A fitting time to move considering it is National Pollinator Week. KLTV 7's Madeline McCrory has more on their new address. Three bikini suits, a little smoke, and a whole lot of bees. How an entire colony of honeybees was moved into their new permanent home. Beginning before the sun came up, with all of the bees returned to the hive, they were closed off inside and transported from the Rose Garden Center to the Goodman LeGrand Museum. When they arrived, the Honey Badger Trading Company, with the help of a white oak ag instructor, suit up, light the smoker, and start moving the bees. With the queen bee and plenty of the colony in the hive, the bees are now making themselves at home. It usually takes about two or three days for them to get oriented to know where their new home is. Uh, once they do that, they're, they're going to start going out foraging and bringing back nectar and pollen uh, immediately. The case gives visitors the chance to get a sneak peek at the pollinators. Um, that have the glass case where kids can get up close and personal and see the bees working and things. And um, I think that's just like a window into how they operate and how they function. Um, opens kids' eyes, gets them excited. The move for the Tyler Rose Garden was needed because the chemicals keeping the roses beautiful were not keeping the bees happy. Keep Tyler Beautiful chose the museum because they have plenty of green space and a different species of roses that don't need the same chemicals. As an affiliate of Bee City USA, Tyler is active in protecting and supporting pollinators. After all, taking care of the bees is keeping Tyler beautiful. Supporting our bees is very important for the flowers, the beautification of Tyler. Madeline McCrory, Kill TV 7 News. And the bee celebration continues on June 29th with Bee Day, which will be in the museum's garden, featuring vendors, food trucks, educational booths, and bee workshops.